that one. We're back in Texas. So we're in Texas. It's round two on the GAR. Now I know what to expect. Now I'm prepared mentally, physically. It's dangerous water, but you know what? We're up for the challenge. We're back. Water's rising. Dallas got flooded. We're killing us a giant GAR this time. <laughs> These fish are going to be back in these backwaters, back in these coves, back in these flooded, you know, three foot deep areas. That's what they like to do. That's what they like to hunt in. And we're going to follow them in there. Come on, you big bugger. Come on. Jeremy said that like, this is one of, the, one of the best spots I got when this water's up like this. And what's happening is, is the, the river is still cresting, you know, it's still coming up. So these, these fish are going with the water. And as it's raising, these fish are going back in there. Now, when that water starts falling out, the fish leave. But this is just prime, man. We have hit it perfect. We have traveled 800 miles, our second trip to get here for this prime time, man. This is only gonna last a day and a half. This is like the rut back home hunting for whitetails. And we are in the spot. That's a deep. I don't know. Dude, it sure looked like it. Yeah, we got him. Right, let me make sure this buoy's off. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. White man hop. He's going behind the boat. Going behind the boat. I'm just pumping, man. My adrenaline just rocking. I see it. I come to full draw. I turn and spin. Take an extra two seconds. Aim. Let her fly. All I do is see that orange line. Wow! Hit that fish. You might as well shot a Volkswagen because that fish erupted, pulled the line, pulled the string, went under the boat, and started pulling us all the way across. The fight is on. I can't even do anything. I can just tore right up. Just absolutely just. I had nothing I have shot. It's wrapped around that string. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. Thanks, brother. So we've got our third arrow in this, in this fish, and this is the one that counts. We've tired them out. We've been fighting them for probably a half hour. And I got this fish, and, and I'm pulling them up and pulling them up, and we got one opportunity. We, we bring them around the one side of the boat. Now, I've got a hold of two arrows in this hand, and they hand me the gaff. And I'm trying to figure out where the heck I'm going to gaff this thing. Ready? <laughs> Ain't no silver carp. Oh my God! Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Fish a Daryl fishing, and that's a giant alligator gar in Texas, baby! 
Dude, I feel like Captain Hook on steroids! I have shot a lot of things. I don't know if I've ever wanted to shoot something so bad. Jeremy went in the water up to his neck. Let this thing chill out, dude, and then we'll go check it out, the teeth and just how big it is. It's bigger around than I am. Every single scale whipped around my neck. Pure bone. And Jeremy said, you can't shoot him going this way. This fish rolled up completely broadside, whacked it, took off. It took us over 100 yards into this brush. We were able to pull it up, and that is a crazy dinosaur sound right there. So the fish is in the boat. <laughs> I'm jumping around on the top of the deck like I just hit a, a, a winning home run in the World Series, man. This is two trips, a long time coming, 100 degree weather for this one fish. He's seven foot long and probably weighs 185 pounds and an absolute dream come true. We did it. There's nothing left to say, but thanks Jeremy, Richard, Corey, and the Blue Collar Boys for having us down because this was the coolest thing I've ever done. And it is gonna be something else for people to walk into my house and see a seven foot fish on my wall. We did it, baby, aerofliction style with a compound bow. Jeremy Sickles, you the man. Bo! Anyone? Bo? Bo. Oh, hurry up, Mark. Take one, hurry up. Hey, this is Arrow Fiction. This week, giant alligator dog. Right here in Texas. Get you some. Zero Affliction. This is where we break records. I'm about ready to break my own. Last season, we did 15 clay pigeons in a row. Right now, I'm gonna try to do at least 20 and set a new record and break my old one. Gretchen, are you ready? We gotta start over. Six. Right through the center, baby. We just tied our record at 15. We're gonna keep on trucking. Uncover all the weakness. Oh, we tied the record. Come on. 15, we ain't done yet. We're gonna get errors, we're trying it again. Unshadow all your sane. That's the old record right there, that's 15. Yeah. That's 22. That's the new record on air affliction. We're out of clay pigeons. So I guess you're just gonna have to see the clay pigeon record be broke one more time. We're stopping at 22, that's the new record. You guys try it at home, and make sure you're safe about it. Make sure you got a professional thrower. That's the new record, it's 22. Thanks for watching Arrow Fiction, everybody. I was thinking about getting into a lot of these things. What the hell is that? Is that my blood or his? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If there's something out there that needs conquering, if there's animals that need protected, we're there. Chris Brackett does not like snakes. So I don't like Chris Brackett. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! Big fish in the boat, baby!